It's midnight on March 4th, 2022. CCTV cameras capture Russian troops as they attack Europe's biggest nuclear power plant near the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia. It should be night. Pietro Kotin, the CEO of Ukraine's nuclear power company, watched the attack from Kyiv. This is just a terrifying video, yeah. watching exactly. fire spread and an attack at an active nuclear facility. Right. And the units are with nuclear materials right here. The Ukrainians broadcast warnings, telling Russian troops to stop shelling at the risk of a nuclear disaster. The warnings went unheeded. Russian troops occupied the plant and the territory around it. Ukrainian forces held on to the far bank of the Dnieper River, leaving the nuclear power station right on the front line. Two years on, the International Atomic Energy Agency, which has inspectors at the plant, is sounding the alarm. You're responsible for nuclear security all around the world. Yes. Is this the most dangerous nuclear facility on the planet right now? It's the most dangerous situation that we have. It's my job not to, uh, you know, so panic, but at the same time, I have to tell the truth of what is happening. Nuclear experts point to three main dangers. First, a military strike on the plant, either accidental or deliberate. Second, a power cut. The plant's six uranium reactors require electricity for cooling. But Ukrainian officials say three of the four power lines are damaged, and the fourth is faulty. There have already been eight blackouts, as recently as December. When you have a blackout, the cooling function of the reactors is lost, and you could have a, a meltdown. And finally, it's understaffed. Ukrainians say the Russians have been abusing employees. 11,000 people worked at the plant before. Only 4,000 work there now. The Irina Kokot is responsible for radiation uh, detection for the Ukrainian government. Yes. Her office predicts how, if there was a meltdown, a cloud of radioactive particles would spread across much of Ukraine and neighboring countries. This is Istanbul, right here, the city of Istanbul. Contaminated the entire city of Istanbul on the Black Sea. It's a catastrophe, a total catastrophe. She says the fallout would last up to 100 years. A nuclear disaster here would be felt around the world and leave large parts of Ukraine and beyond uninhabitable. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.